Hi everybody, this is Miss Sarah from the Fayetteville Public Library and this is Toddler Storytime. Can you wiggle your fingers? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Can you wiggle them fast? Fast, fast, fast. Wiggle them slow. Can you clap your hands fast? Now clap your hands slow. Good job. Can you spin your arms around like this? Okay, now do it fast, fast. Now do it slow. Okay, can you take your two fists like this and thump them? on top of each other. Okay, now I want you to do it fast. Thump, 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 thump. Now I want you to do it slow. Thump, thump, thump. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, snap your fingers. If you're ready for a story, snap your fingers. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, snap your fingers. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. Oh yeah. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. Oh yeah. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. Oh yeah. I have a quick announcement for the parents. Parents, we have revamped our program, 1,000 Books Before Kindergarten, the program where you read 1,000 books to your child before they enter kindergarten. It's not as hard as it sounds, I promise. So come on in the library the next time you're here, ask to register, and if you register, you get this really cool bag for your books. And for every 100 books you read to your kiddo, they get a little prize at our desk. All right, so we hope you register. Well, today's story time is all about food. So let's do a few food rhymes and songs. Can you get out your fists again? You ready? This one might be familiar. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more! I want more potatoes. Let's do that again. One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, more! Let's see, now I'm thinking about a food that you eat for breakfast. It's fluffy and you can pour syrup on it. <gasps> pancake, you're right. Let's do a rhyme about pancakes. Get out your bowl, get out your spoon, mix a pancake, stir a pancake, pop it in the pan, fry a pancake, toss a pancake, catch it if you can. Let's do that again. Mix a pancake, stir a pancake, pop it in your pan, fry a pancake, toss a pancake, catch it if you can. Now, we can do that rhyme with a scarf. So if you have a scarf handy, go get it and let's do that rhyme again, okay? Remember, if you don't have a scarf, you can use anything that looks like a scarf or acts like a scarf. You ready? Mix a pancake, stir a pancake, pop it in your pan. Fry a pancake, toss a pancake, catch it if you can. 
mix a pancake, stir a pancake, toss it in your pan. Fry a pancake, toss a pancake, catch it if you can. Good job. So now I'm thinking of something else you eat for breakfast. Hmm. This thing that you eat for breakfast, you can put butter or jelly on. Can you think of anything? Oh, you might be thinking of a biscuit, which is a really good idea. But Miss Sarah is thinking about toast. You ready? Let's do a rhyme about toast. So I'm going to use my scarf again. Can you make your hands so that they're like a toaster? Let's pretend that your hands are the toaster. I'm toasting the toaster. I'm getting very hot. Tick, tock, tick, tock, up. I pop. Huh, let's do that again. Toast in the toaster. I'm getting very hot. Tick, tock, tick, tock, up. I pop. Okay, now take your piece of toast and take your knife and get some butter and spread it on your toast. Now get some jam and spread it on your toast. What kind of jam did you get? Oh, I got strawberry jam. You got grape? Yum! Okay, is your toast ready? Mm, maybe just a little more jam. Okay, now is it ready? Okay, pick up your toast and Eat it. Nom, 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 nom. Ooh, it's delicious. Now for this next rhyme, I am going to use my rhythm sticks. These make a really good sound, but guess what? You don't have to have these. You can do it with me. You could use your fingers, but that won't make a sound. You could use pencils or markers. That'll make a little bit of a sound. Or maybe your parent has some wooden spoons. You could tap the wooden spoons together. Okay, are you ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as fast as we can. You ready? Fast. Good job. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our six as slow as we can. You ready? Very good. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our six as soft as we can. Uh-oh, do you know what's next? If we did it soft, we have to do it loud. Okay, let's do it. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as loud as we can. You ready? <laughs> hey, I did it loud, but did you notice I also did it fast? Hmm. There must be something about that. Let me see if I can do it slow and loud. Let's see. You can, you can. Let's see if I can do it fast and soft. Oh, good job. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's make our sticks go around and around. You ready? Around and around and around and around and around. You know what? You could also do this. Around and around. Good job. Bread and butter, 
marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as fast as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as quiet as we can. Now let's do a little rhyme about your favorite food. Can you think of your favorite food? It could be a fruit. It could be something your mom or dad makes. It could be a vegetable. It could even be a treat food that you don't get to eat very often. One, two, three, four. Miss Sarah's at the kitchen door. Five, six, seven, eight. She's eating blueberries off the plate. I picked my favorite food to be blueberries. Now let's do it with your name and your favorite food. Okay? Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm going to do the name Sophie. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Sophie's at the kitchen door. Five, six, seven, eight, Sophie's eating pizza off the plate. One, two, three, four, Gunner's at the kitchen door. Five, six, seven, eight, he's eating grapes off the plate. Good job. So make sure you do that rhyme with your name and your favorite food. And the next time you visit the library, you can tell me what your favorite food is. I can't wait to hear. Can you wiggle your fingers like this? Wiggle, wiggle. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Now creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Circle around your little mouth, but do not let them in. Falling, 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 falling right down to the ground. Then you pick them up again and turn them round and round. Faster, faster. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Slower, 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 slower. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Can you hold your hands out like this? This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Well, the book we're going to read today is called Be Bim Bop, and it is by Linda Sue Park. I think you'll love this book because it has a lot of great rhythm in it. Hey, did you know that the month of May is Asian Pacific Heritage Month? It is. It's a whole month where we can recognize the contributions of Asian Americans and Pacific Islander Americans to the history and culture of the United States. Almost time for supper, rushing to the store. Mama buys the groceries. More, Mama, more. Hurry, Mama, hurry. Gotta shop, shop, shop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bee-bim-bop. Home and in the kitchen, eggs to stir and fry, 
Mama, catch the spatula. Flip the eggs high. Hurry, Mama, hurry. Gotta flip, flip, flop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bee, bim, bop. Rice is on the boil, bubbling in the pot, white and sticky, lickety, steaming good and hot. Hurry, flurry, rice, gotta pop, pop, pop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bee, bim, bop. What are they doing right here? Are they chopping? Yeah, it looks like they might be chopping a leek or maybe a green onion. Mama's knife is shiny, slicing fast and neat. Garlic and green onions, skinny strips of meat. Hurry, Mama, hurry, gotta chop, chop, chop. Hungry, very hungry for some bee bim bop. Who's that right there? Is the dog begging for food? Spinach, sprouts, and carrots. Each goes in a pan. Let me pour the water in. Yes, I know I can. Uh-oh, she spills it just a little, but you know what, that's okay. Sorry, Mama, sorry, gotta mop, mop, mop. Hungry in a hurry for some bee, bim, bop. Bowls go on the table. Big one striped in blue. I help set the glasses out, spoons and chopsticks too. So there's a spoon and right next to it is a pair of chopsticks, which are kind of like, let's do this. Can you make your fingers go like this? And a lot of people eat with chopsticks, which if you've never done it before can be kind of hard. But if you keep practicing, you can do it. Hurry, family, hurry, gotta hop, hop, hop. Dinner's on the table and it's bee, bim, bop. Look here, it looks like they have a grandparent here and another little sibling, a baby brother maybe. Quiet for a moment, Papa says the grace. Everybody says amen, a smile upon their face. Are they ready to eat? Rice goes in the middle, egg goes right on top. Mix it, mix like crazy. Can you mix, 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 mix. Time for B, Bim, Bop. Yum, everyone is eating it. One of my favorite things about this book is it gives you the recipe for bibimbap in the back and very neatly, it says what you, the child, can do and what you, the grown-up, can do. So it gives you a way to cook with your child. Bibimbap is a traditional Korean food. And let me look right here. Here's a picture of the author making it with her nephew and niece. And it says that bop is the Korean word for rice and bibim means mix up. So it literally means mix up rice. I hope you try it. Oh, that book made me hungry. So I think we should go on a picnic. Are you ready? Let's get our basket. Going on a picnic, gotta pack a lunch. What could we bring that we can munch, munch, munch? Hmm. Ooh, here's an idea. What could we bring? We could bring a carrot. Good job, everybody. Ooh, I love carrots. They're bright orange and super crunchy. We're going on a picnic, we gotta pack a lunch. What can we bring that we can munch, munch, munch? Hmm, let's see. 
Oh, here's an idea. <gasps> what are these? These are grapes. They are purple and sweet and juicy and delicious. We're going on a picnic. We got a pack of lunch. What can we bring that we can munch, munch, munch? Mm, I see something right here. What is this? What is this? You know what? It's a strawberry. You might say it's an apple, but I can kind of tell by the shape of it and by the stem that it's a strawberry. Oh, strawberries are in season right now. Nom, 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 nom. That means this one is extra juicy. We're going on a picnic. We've got a pack of lunch. What can we bring that we can munch, munch, munch? Oh, I see something very delicious right here. Oh, what's this? This is a summertime food. You remember what it's called? Watermelon. Oh, it's so cold and delicious. And then if you want to have some fun, you can spit the seeds out. <laughs> We're going on a picnic. We've got a pack of lunch. What can we bring that we can munch, munch, munch? Hmm, I see something in here. This is also a summertime food. What is this? It's corn. Oh, it's so good with a little bit of butter on it. Good job. Okay, let's put... What's growing right here? What are these? Are they carrots? You're right. Can you help me name the colors? Yellow, orange, blue, blue. Look at that. We've got two different colors of blue. Red and purple. Good job. Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Six crunchy carrots growing in the ground. Along came a bunny without a sound. She pulled on the top as hard as she could. Out came the carrot. Mmm, it was good. How many carrots are left? One, two, three, four, five. Five crunchy carrots growing in the ground. Along came a bunny without a sound. She pulled on the top as hard as she could. Then she ate the carrot. Mmm, it was good. How many are left? One, two, three, four, Four crunchy carrots growing in the ground. Along came a bunny without a sound. Shh. She pulled on the top as hard as she could. <gasps> Out popped the carrot. Mmm. It was good. Three crunchy carrots growing in the ground. Along came a bunny without a sound. Shh. She pulled on the top as hard as she could. Mm, pull your carrot. Oh, out came a carrot. Mmm, it was good. How many carrots are left? One, 
two. Two crunchy carrots growing in the ground. Along came a bunny without a sound. She pulled on the top as hard as she could. Ooh. Out came a carrot. Mmm, it was good. How many carrots are left? Just one. One crunchy carrot growing in the ground. Along came a bunny without a sound. She pulled on the top as hard as she could. Pull your carrot. Ooh. Out came a carrot. Mmm, it was good. We clap and say goodbye. We clap and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and say goodbye. We snap and say goodbye. We snap and say goodbye. With the friends at story time, we snap and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. With the friends at story time, we wave and say goodbye. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'm Miss Sarah with the Fayetteville Public Library and I'll see you soon. Bye.